Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. I hope you all are doing well. As you can see, this is my first ever straight razor shave. And this is a tribute to Jill. I went ahead and recorded it uh, several days back. Uh, I recorded a uh, video for her, or tribute video for her. And um, something happened during the recording. My sound just dropped, cut in and out. And when I went to edit it, it was just, it, it was a lost cause. So I junked that video. I'm doing this one. Anyways, so real quick about the straight. It's not my weight in butcher, so don't get all excited, even though I wish it was. However, dang brush. However, um, and like it also says, shaving with some new stuff. Anyways, um, several days back, Max Schaefer, or Schaefer, of um, their own Facebook, some of you might know who he is, he makes soaps as a hobby. I've used one of his soaps on video in the past, which was a bison tallow formula called Petrichor, which I really, really like. And I ended up winning another one of his soaps. And i not quite sure the name. I'll put the name and the scent notes, if I can find out what they are from him, down in the description. Anyways, just in case you can't see this, this soap, he loved cough drops as a kid. Um, I love sucrets, so I get where he's coming from. And he made a mentholated, and he made this soap, which it's mentholated. So I like that because it's summer and it's warm. And he, the scent notes, the ones that I detect, I can definitely smell the menthol, but it has a scent note that I normally don't like, which is black anise. Like you get in licorice, but mm, he put just the right amount of black anise. Usually, most things with black anise, the scent is just too strong for me, and I don't like it. It is a vegan formula, as you can see, brand new tub, and it's a relatively soft soap. I push down on it and dent it. So, it's not a real, real firm soap, but it's not real, real soft. Oh, one moment. Had to grab a rat, had to grab my rag and my shave towel. But, anyways, so that's the soap. But Max went ahead and he let me know when I messaged him and gave him my shipping info. He told me he was going to throw in a bonus item, either a um, body bar, so I guess he's making, making bath soap as well now, but he offered a body bar, a random DE from his collection, or a straight razor. Sorry about that guys. So anyways, I chose a straight razor. I'm not sure of who makes it. We gotta, I gotta clean it up where it's in, where the it's stamped with the name. It's kind of got some gunk in it, so my girlfriend couldn't make out the name. But this is it. It is a five eighths. I know that for a fact. He told me. Not quite sure what the scales are. I don't know if they're like wood or bone or what or horn. But look, as you can see. The scales are in excellent condition. There's the blade. It is a square point five eighths blade. So that's the razor we're gonna attempt to shave with. If I get into a little bit of trouble and I can't complete the shave, I will finish it off with my 1956 Gillette Red Tip and it has a Pulse Silver Super Iridium blade on its second use. So, let's, oh, the brush, the brush, the brush, the brush. Now, there's a brush maker that's making quite a stir in the wet shaving community. You may have heard of them. Um, Heritage Shaving Collections. It was my and my girlfriend's eighth anniversary a few days back on the 25th. So, she wanted to go ahead and she had bought me what I'm going to, going to be using here in the next video but she ended up buying me two brushes um, she went ahead and the one I picked she saw one she really really liked and she told me about it and I was like oh that sounds like a cool brush too and she, I'm like I'm not sure which one I want and she's like do you want both and I was like well you mean do I want both and she went do you want both and I was like sure and 
here it is the heritage collection the one i'm going to be using is the simon 77-5 in black and sky blue with a finest badger gelled fan tip knot it is a 26 millimeter the story behind this razor why he chose this or by, behind this brush why he chose to go ahead and make it is because simon stands for carl uh, Monkhouse, who was a famous straight razor designer back in the 20s and 30s, and they made this in his name. As you can see, the handle kind of looks like a safety razor handle, but it's really wide up here, so nice tapered, you know, thin, elegant handle. Big up here, it actually stands up when you set it down, so it doesn't fall. So I'm looking very forward to using it. So anyways, I like to brush soak. I'll re-wet it real quick. They had over at West Coast Shaving, 15% off all Heritage Collection brushes. So I got this one and one that's based off an Everready, which you'll see in um, not the next shave, but the following one. So let's go ahead and let's load. This knot is nice and, you know, got some really good backbone. It's dense has really nice backbone um, at West Coast shaving you can go ahead and you can get brushes with the heritage shaving collection which if you want his knot the fan knot which is this one is a 26 millimeter fan gel tip and the other heritage shaving knot is a 26 millimeter um, gel bulb knot I imagine that's two band finest as well and West Coast Shaving, you can get just a blank handle to add your own knot. Um, or you can get it with their Tuxedo Knot, their Abyss Knot, or their WCS 3-band gel tip knot. It's a good load right there. Wet the face. So, this is either going to end up really good or really bad. So, let's just find out. If there's blood, I apologize. <laughs> if there is a lot of blood, I really apologize. And, you know, um, if you see me go down because I cut myself too bad, then, you know, somebody go ahead and call 911 for me. Well, that not feels nice. Mm. Scent on the soap. It's not heavy, heavy, heavy. It's there noticeable hopefully I can do this without wipe, wipe, wiping out my goat uh, my Fu Manchu or handlebar mustache whatever This is the only shave you're going to see me using this straight razor until I get a straw, but one will be on its way in a few days. So, I don't want a thick, thick lather because I do know that with straight shaves, you want a thinner lather. Let's see if I can nail that thinner lather. Only problem with that brush is it does like to fall over if it gets bumped. But we'll just power through it, so to speak. Okay. 
Okay. Make sure I'm holding the blade proper. Hands are nice and dry. Run it some under some warm water. Trying not to get any itch on my nose. Trying not to get it into the pivot pin. So let's see. I need to add some water to this ladder. There we go. This video might take a little longer than normal, guys. If I if it does, I apologize, but I'm not racing through a straight, my first straight razor shave. Guns blazing here. Taking it down. Okay, the other side. Yeah, I got a feeling I'm going to have to finish this up with my uh, red tip. I think. I oh, dang it. Ah, shit. Pardon my language, guys. I think I got watered down on my pen. <sighs> going to have to make sure it's nice and dry. Okay, here we go.
Oh, new subscriber to announce. It is Goldfinger 180 or 185. I think it's 180. Goldfinger 180. Welcome to the channel, Goldfinger. Um, hope hope you like hope you like your time here. Hope you enjoy yourself. Not a lot of feedback. On this small blade. But. Could improve as my skill improves. I don't know. Okay. So here we go. That's as far as I'm going to go with this blade, because I, uh, I don't want to, oh that menthol is really really kicking in, so, but that's the first pass done, mostly, so, out comes the red tip. Still uh, so pretty good residual thickness. There. Let me rinse off. Apply the second dose of lather. I'll get there guys. I'll get there straight razor wise. I plan on it. I'm making it a mission. But yeah. You know. When it came to Jill Snowden of She Shades with Jill, I mean, I know a lot of people have said it already. But spoke her mind and um, I remember one time I did a Memorial Day shave and um, I know what Memorial Day is for I know who it's dedicated to but I still thank her and Dennis O'Drain another subscriber for their service and um, Joe was like no don't thank me this ain't my day and I'm like yeah you're right it's not, you know, it's not for you guys, but, you know, just want to say thanks. But, um, she loved her DEs. She really liked her single edges. And, 
And when it came to Chevette's, she had no problem with those. Straight razors, I think she giggled at them. Yeah, when she looked at them. I mean, she took everything head on. Full tilt. Like, yeah, this ain't nothing. So, if anybody from Jill's family ever sees this, I'm so sorry for your loss. My deepest condolences. The wet shaving community lost a hell of a member right there. And she was a strong supporter of my channel. Always, always commenting on my videos. My next shave, I'm going to be shaving my head with that straight. No, just kidding, guys. Uh, no. Uh, I tried that. I tried that hat trick with one of my Chevettes when I tried doing a head shave with one and it did not end pretty. I actually it forehead shave and it, it turned out scary bad <laughs> I I know myself my head a couple of times really really good a little bit right here try not to mess up this mustache Girlfriend likes it, so and I like it. Yeah, that menthol feels really nice. Good amount of menthol, I like it. straight razor guys see anything as far as my technique or anything like that that you guys might you know have a pointer or two let me know that 5 8 blade that's thin thin blade so lightweight too so well, the razors relatively lightweight so unlike my weight and butcher seven eights which by the way here's the story on that why well, I haven't got it yet it's been sitting since July 30th in Los Angeles. I contacted the post office a couple of times like, hey, where's my package? So, when I contacted them the first time, the gentleman I spoke to gave me a number and he opened up a case. Um, 
um, heard nothing back. I spoke with a lady named Rebecca down there. And I understand, you know, they're going through some stuff right now. Which we won't get into. Because it's political in nature, I believe. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I really could. Okay. But that's just the way I honestly feel. Um, but plus two with the COVID thing and all that storms back east. Yeah, they're dealing with a lot of stuff. So I understand that. But I want my damn razor. Anyways. It's at a place where it looks like quite possibly it's there. It hasn't moved because quite possibly the package may be damaged. 50 years on this earth, I've maybe had two or three issues with mail. I've ordered stuff for a few bucks off of uh, there online. Got it, no problem. Got this brush in my other brush, no problem. Got the package from Max, no problem. But the one time, the one time when something really, really important is in the mail, something happens. Not cool. <laughs> so I got to email them, give them a description of everything in the package, send pictures. I said the pictures I have of the razor is not the way the razor looks now. Will that be a problem? She said, no, as long as you can identify it in a way or, you know, describe it in a way where it can be identified, which should be easy because the scale safe frame call 1876, which I doubt there's any other straight razors out there with that in engraving on the scales. So right there is good. So I email them. I'll email them later today and go ahead and get the information to them because my girlfriend's not here so you know she'll help me go ahead and, and get the pictures off my phone and, and all that and uh, we'll sit there and go ahead and send them to the US Postal Service and hopefully hopefully soon my Wade and Butcher's Straight Words or Odyssey will come to a close and you guys can see the work that's been done on it it looks absolutely amazing anyways so let's see good Good, good. Anyways, I'll see y'all back here for the album. I'm not gonna do the, let's review the shave real quick. I'm not gonna do the alum because I'm doing another video, a head shave. So, yeah, once it comes in thicker, I'll be able to get it cleaned up real proper down here. Um, damn, I knocked off some of the side. Oh well. Anyways, worst case scenario, I just take it off here and just go with on the lip. Anyways, so let's do the alum. Maggots Malamic, I mean Maggots Alum Stick. Not bad. Not a lot, oh, not a lot of irritation. Down on the neck a little. So anyways, We'll go ahead, set this over on my sponge. We'll go ahead and I'll let you guys go. And uh, I'll rinse off and I'm gonna get to that head shape. Anyways, I'll catch all of you again on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.